So how do you move on from the negative energy around you when you cannot change it? So like, I just feel that like, if you, if you think that you cannot change something, I just personally feel like that's a limiting belief. We are the creators of our reality and you are your universe and everything flows through you. So you can change anything at any point when you change your story and when you realize that you are the creator of your reality and your thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions are creating your circumstances. So if you feel and perceive and if there's evidence around you that is giving you cues that there is negativity in your environment, you just have to realize that like you are the creator of all circumstances based on whatever was happening in your mind. Now, if there is something abusive happening or if people are violent and if it's shit like that, um, I mean, yes, we still are the creators, but get yourself away from those people or like, you know, cut the people off or get out of the toxic environment or get the necessary help that you need. And you don't deserve to be abused or, or in pain or hurt or anything like that we still are responsible for the circumstances that present themselves to us in our 3D because our mind, our thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions and imaginations are creating everything. So when you hold yourself accountable and recognize that you are the creator of your reality, then you can analyze the bullshit that you've created and then you can decide that okay, I created this. I don't like this shit. So now I can just change my story and create something else. So uh, you just have to create a new story. What do you want for your life? What do you want to see in your reality? If you want something more positive, you have to decide what that looks like for you. And you have to create the story, affirm it, persist in it. And, and it all starts with self-concept. So create a story for yourself, create a concept for yourself. Who are you? Um, what does your positive life look like? What does the new chapter look like for you? Who are you in the story? Do you have a job? Do you have friends? Do you have love in your life? Do you have money? How much money do you have? Like, do you drive a dope car? Like, are you, what are you doing creatively? What are you doing for your work? Like what, what's your career looking like? Like what type of friends do you have? So use this time to analyze the contrast and recognize what you don't want and then remix it create a new story for yourself and really manifest the life that you want seriously because you have that power you are the operant power no one has free will in your reality and you are so powerful so (laughs) you're literally rewiring your whole brain so that you can create better circumstances and a better reality for yourself and it does take discipline and constant refocusing and constant Um, attention to your thoughts and you don't have to drive yourself crazy thinking of every single thought but just know that your thoughts are creating and um, it's important to take notice to how you feel as well I do notice that a lot of people talk about thoughts 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 when manifesting and that is important but um, I am an empath and I move my life I move my way through like I navigate through life with my feelings so I like to take note um, of how I feel. And usually that is an indicator to me what type of experience I'm having. So I think it is important to take that time to yourself, meditate, and really just like develop a personal relationship with yourself where you actually can feel yourself because your feelings are important as well. Like it's not just thoughts. Um, so yeah, 